this video, we will see the operational part of BPL syringe pump Acura S1. Syringe pumps has been widely used in hospitals to deliver a very small amount of medications into a patient's body in a controlled manner by mechanically moving the piston of the syringe to infuse medication into IV tubing. The BPL Acura S1 syringe pump is fully featured syringe pump suitable for critical care and general infusion applications. The pump has 2.8 inch color LCD screen and has LED which shows set infusion rate. This is the power button to switch on and off the syringe pump. This audio pause button to silence the alarm. This is working light which indicates the infusion in process. This is the light for visual indicators of alarms. This is a battery indicator. This is AC power indicator. This is the purge or bolus button. This button is to start the infusion and this button is to stop the infusion. These are the keys used for increment or decrement the values. This is menu or exit button. This is confirm button. Device has 2000 mAh nickel metal hydride battery which gives 8 hours of backup. As you can see, the screen shows the battery status, volume level, syringe brand, infusion mode, volume to be infused, remaining infusion time, total infused volume, occlusion pressure set. On the back side of the syringe pump, you can be able to connect the power cord in the socket. The clamp is provided to mount the syringe pump on the IV pole. Let us look into the syringe installation. Pull out the syringe clamp and turn it counterclockwise by 90 degrees. Place the syringe in its cradle and the flanges correctly into the provided slot. Turn the syringe clamp clockwise by 90 degrees and make it press the syringe. Press the finger grips and slide the mechanism to the left until it reaches the plunger head. Release the finger grips to make sure the plunger grippers are holding the plunger in the place. The display will show the volume size of syringe. Please check if it is correct. You can select the syringe brand by entering the main menu. In the syringe set menu, you can select the brand of the syringe that has been using. Selecting infusion mode. The default injection mode of this pump is fluorid mode. You can choose other injection mode in this menu. Let us see how to set different mode. Fluorid mode. The default running mode is fluorid mode. You can press OK to select and confirm the parameters. The cursor will move circularly among the parameters. Incremental and decremental keys are used to adjust the parameters. After all parameters are confirmed, press start button to start infusion. Time or volume mode. Press menu, system will enter the main menu. Navigate to running mode, press ok to enter into running mode selection. Select time mode and confirm. The screen will show the time mode interface. Use this key to set the desired infusion time. Input the volume to be infused. After this parameters are confirmed, press start to start injection. Drug or wait mode. In running mode, select drug or wait mode and confirm. System will enter into unit selection screen. There are 7 selectable infusion units. Select the desired unit and confirm. Adjust the drug amount, solution volume and the body weight respectively and the solution concentration shows automatically. After these three parameters are set, the cursor moves on C. Press OK to enter the drug weight syringe interface. Press OK to adjust the drug dose and the flow rate shows automatically. After all parameters are confirmed, press start to start the injection. Let us see how to give bolus infusion. Two ways to set. First, manual bolus method. Press purge button and hold it. The pump will inject at the bolus rate of corresponding syringe size. Release key to 
रेज्यूम टू द ओरिजिनल रेट सेकेंडली ऑटोमेटिक मेथड ड्यूरिंग इंजेक्शन प्रेस टू मेन्यू की टू एंटर बोलिस वॉल्यूम सेटिंग इंटरफेस सेट द डिजायर बोलिस वॉल्यूम सेट द बोलिस रेट एंड कंफर्म प्रेस ओके द कर्स ऑफ पोजिशन ऑन स्टार्ट प्रेस ओके टू स्टार्ट द पंप विल इंजेक्ट एट द बोलिस रेट ऑफ करस्पॉन्डिंग सिरेंज साइज saves up to 2000 even to check this log details enter menu interface and select system set press okay to enter log you can use these keys to view